I look at the Just Stop Oil protests. Instinctively, my gut feeling is that they're right. You know, it's such a distraction to talk about Just Stop well, Oil. Okay, but let me, right, I mean, you, you've, had, you've had your say, let me just have mine. I, I just think the Just Stop Oil protests have had the complete opposite effect to what those protesters hoped or thought they would get. If you're just going to spend your entire time running around wrecking ordinary people's lives, ruining their fun, uh, getting in their faces, stopping them going to school, stopping them going to hospital and so on, you are not going to bring the public with you. The government has to somehow hit this sweet spot where they take us into a far greener place, which is what they want to do, but they do it at a pace and a rate and an affordability that will bring the public with them. And if you try and be too catastrophic in your rhetoric about this, or too, in my view, with Just a Ball, mm -hmm. pathetic in your methodology, you are going to turn people off and that will not work. I mean, work. Hugh, do you think Just Stop Oil have actually shot themselves in the foot? Because a lot Look, of people have been very cross about their activities. F firstly, nothing's more affordable than onshore wind to bring down our energy bills and give us energy security in the UK. Secondly, Just Stop Oil, Every radical movement for change needs a radical wing that draw our attention to things. Mm -hmm. I was watching the test match when somebody ran on and exploded some orange powder. Mm -hmm. That drew some attention to mm -hmm. an absolutely vital issue. Well, I, was I, there, I was there that day and it, the only attention it drew was everyone was booing and everyone thought that guy was it, a total it, moron. We're talking everyone, about it and now. Everyone cheered Piers, the and yet, they, and yet and we're been, talking about it now. And they've been pretty successful well, about raising and, the and profile you, of the also, issue. These people are prepared to put their liberty on the line to defend something mm -hmm. that they passionately believe in. That's why women are allowed the vote in this country. Mm -hmm. What would you have been saying when, when women were throwing themselves in front of the king's horse? You, in order to get vote for women, we need people to go out there mm -hmm. and put, themselves, put their liberty at risk to show that this Reckon generation, as the Chancellor you. pointed out, as Rachel knows mm -hmm. above all else, because 40% of children put climate number two mm -hmm. when she had the big ask uh, a you year ago. And we're going to come back to that in a second. And we're going to come back to that in a second. stuff are not coming with them. Well, so we, it's we, failing that's as a, strategy. a point of argument and it's a point of dispute. And I suppose none of us can get inside the minds of every single member of the public. But the Just Stop Oil activities were a big story over the summer. What was also quite a big story over the summer was the ongoing hacking trial against the Mirror Group. Now, as the former editor appears, I know you have denied on many occasions that you had any knowledge of phone hacking while you were the editor. But your name kept being brought up during the trial. And there was a range of testimony that implicated you in the hacking of people's phones. Do you still deny that? Absolutely.